I'm going to be doing a boat patrol Coast Guard today. Uh, primary focus is going to be enforcement of uh, possession striped bass in the EEZ, basically the, uh, the area of water from 3 miles to 200 miles offshore. It's considered federal water. Um, we are, I'm a, I'm a deputized federal agent uh, with uh, National Marine Fisheries, and uh, that gives myself and other officers in my unit the, um, the authority to enforce federal regulation. If we're going to do, if we're going to stay inside of state waters, then we, we pretty much just rely on the Coast Guard to help us with the state fisheries enforcement. If we're going to go outside the three mile line, then we're looking for federal species, like striped bass, for example. We'll be basically be looking for possession of striped bass. Um, in Jersey waters, striped bass have to be 28 inches or larger as a minimum size. However, in the federal water, it's completely prohibited for possession. So regardless of the size, it, it's illegal if they possess it. Okay, so uh, about 20, 25 years ago, the striped bass population took a massive nosedive. Um, it basically just crashed. The, we thought that it was going to become basically extinct on, on the East Coast. Um, since then, aggressive regulations have been put in place and they're on the rebound and they continue, the numbers continue to rise. We're now just starting to see numbers that we haven't seen in 40 years. Um, so we're protecting that. Uh, a lot of the big breeding population travels the, uh, just outside the three mile line. They travel up and down the coast. Uh, we, know we've, we have a tagging project going on here in New Jersey. Um, some, of the, some of the striped bass uh, that we've tagged have shown up in places like Maine and even as far south as off the coast of North Carolina. Essentially the goal here is to try to protect the, the large schools of very large striped bass. You know, those are the, the real true breeding adults. We're essentially not only protecting the striped bass population, but in a way we're also protecting the research that's going on uh, to better enable uh, the, our biologists to get a grip on exactly how these fish function.